Hey everybody, Krista here from Krista's Mortgage Minute. I'm going to tell you a story today. So I had a client many years ago, a boyfriend and girlfriend, uh, purchasing a home together. And when we're going through the mortgage process, I start reviewing the mortgage application and I'm reviewing the liabilities line by line by line. And I say, okay, well, there's a finance loan here for such and such and the payment is this and there's a credit card here for a payment of this and I can see both of the clients and they're kind of like getting super uncomfortable and they're fidgeting and they're both kind of looking at each other they're like nope that's not ours and it turns out uh, that they didn't have full financial disclosure with each other the boyfriend had bought a quad uh, with the funds um, that he got a loan for and he told his girlfriend that he got a bonus at work and that's what he bought the quad with and the girlfriend had a secret credit card uh, that ran a significant balance that she didn't tell him about. So obviously not a great idea to be you know sharing money and trying to buy a house if you don't even have financial disclosure with each other. So let me share with you some things that do work really well. I've got 18 years of experience in seeing people's finances, and I'm gonna share with you what I've seen works really well. First of all, I would suggest that you share your money. Share your credit cards, share your bank account. All the money goes into uh, one bank account, the debts come out of the same bank account. That way you know where you're at um, on a monthly basis from a financing standpoint. The other thing that I really recommend um, is having a discussion about what are your limits. How much are you allowed to buy from a large transaction standpoint without chatting to your spouse? Is that $500? Is that $1,000? How much are you allowed to spend before you really tick off your spouse and have a limit set so that there are, there's no confusion to create any arguments? I also do something called Finance Fridays. Finance Fridays are the days that I go in and I just take a look at things. I look at the credit card, I look at the banking, and I just make sure that everything is okay. I also pay any bills. Uh, on the topic of paying bills, I am all about automation. If you can auto pay your bills, have your cell phone auto pay to your credit card so you can get points, um, have your credit card auto pay to your bank account, anything that you can automate, uh, to make things easier is a fantastic way to approach your finances. If you can't automate it, finance Fridays and take care of paying things then so things don't run late. So those are the things that I have found that work really well for my clients. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any ideas for videos, make sure you uh, shoot me a quick email. Thanks so much. Have a great week.